The second of today's double features celebrating 90 years of iconic cinema, James Wales, Frankenstein. After the success of Dracula, producer Carl Emney was eager to continue making horror movies. And yet he chose another story that was adapted for the stage and based on an influential novel by Mary Shelley. Frankenstein, a scientist so determined to defeat nature itself, seeks to reanimate a corpse that has been stitched together from various body parts. His result became known as the most famous bit part in American cinema history. Boris Karloff, born William Henry Pratt, had appeared in dozens of roles since 1919 before being absorbed by Jack Pierce's makeup and platform shoes. The moment he appears in that doorway became one of the most important character introductions ever. Even though it did go down well, its success was met with controversy. In America, in some states, cuts were made. But when the Hayes Code came in, in 1934, cuts were enforced everywhere. Which includes that scene when the monster throws the little girl into the lake. That footage remained missing, presumed lost. Until it was rediscovered in the 1980s within the BFI archives. Remade, imitated, parodied, Frankenstein is a benchmark in science fiction and horror. It's said that Kenneth Branagh's remake is the most faithful to the novel, but was, is, considered to be a, a bit of a splitter. My favourite remake will always be Mel Brooks's masterpiece, Young Frankenstein. <laughs> Back when Mark Kermode was doing intros for Film 4, he was introducing George Romero's Day of the Dead, and one thing he said in that, that can be asked of this movie, there is a conundrum. Should the reanimated be depicted as the villain or should the scientist? I believe that the monster is one of the great tragedy figures. <laughs> 